Hello, my name is Quality and getting amps can sometimes be a hassle. For example, which prism should I get? And which one is the best? Well, I'm not here to preach which one is the best, but I'll show you how the 14 primary and secondary options look. There is three amp components, a prism, a scaffold and a brace. The prism is for the amp's primary fire, the scaffold for the secondary fire and the brace is just a stat change for your amp. For example, energy regen delay and energy amount. So let's start with the prisms. There is 7 in total, the first one being Raplak Prism. Raplak Prism is a semi-auto sniper rifle mode, good for long range doing good amount of damage, with low fire rate it drains 10 energy per shot which takes a while to regenerate. The second prism, Schwak Prism. Schwak Prism is a short range shotgun kind of amp dealing good amount of damage with good rate of fire. It drains 10 energy per shot which regenerates very quickly. Another detail I may add is that this prism is good against the Eidolon. The third prism, Granmu Prism. Granmu Prism is a 3 burst grenade launcher which deals good amount of damage, but you need to be precise and lead shots. One burst drains 15 energy with quick energy regen and is also great for Eidolon hunts. The fourth prism, Ran. An automatic mode kind of shot with meth fire rate but good amount of damage. One shot drains to energy which pull is quickly regenerated. The fifth prism, Centic. A burst rifle with good accuracy and range dealing good amount of damage. One shot drains around 7 energy which does not regenerate that quickly. The sixth prism, Lega. A flamethrower with very quick rate of fire but low damage, the energy it drains is around 3 per second. The energy pool however generates quite quickly and it is also capable of going through walls. And the seventh, the last one, Clamora. A short range flamethrower of some kind which deals insane amount of damage but drains energy at an insane rate. It also has a long energy recharge delay not ideal for melting extremely tough enemies. Ok, that's all about the prisms, which set your primary fire, but what about the scaffolds, the secondary? The first one, Pencha Scaffold. A sniper rifle kind of shot with a short delay before firing, dealing massive amount of damage. It takes 10 energy per shot with a quick energy regen. The second one, Shark Soon Scaffold. A shotgun kind of mode with a terrible range and shot width, but great damage. It takes 10 energy to shoot at once, which comes back very quickly. The third one, Klebrek Scaffold. A beam of energy that seeks out enemies for you with extremely quick fire rate, but little damage and huge energy consumption. The energy recharge delay is also not that good. The fourth, Fat Scaffold. This one shoots out a disc that seeks out enemies and does good amount of damage. The range is great, but the amount of energy it uses is 20, which is not that good. The fifth, Exart Scaffold. A heavy automatic shooter mode which empties your whole energy pool but does a huge amount of damage. It is also incredibly inaccurate and has huge amount of recoil. Don't use it. The sixth, Disic Scaffold. A one-shot grenade which explodes on impact, great for killing groups of enemies. The range is not that good but the damage is great. It takes 50 energy to shoot which regenerates very quickly. And the last scaffold, Propa Scaffold. I don't even know how to name this one, a supernova firing mode? I don't know. It has very poor range, it shoots out an orb which explodes after a few seconds and deals massive amount of damage to you too. One shot takes 40 energy to shoot, which regenerates quite quickly. Ok, that's it about the scaffolds, but what about the braces? Well, here is a list of them with their stats. You can choose the ones you like because there's nothing to show here. The only thing they change is the energy amount, energy regen and energy regen delay. So take the energy cost, amount of energy and the delay before energy regen with a grain of salt because they can vary quite a lot. That is pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share or maybe even subscribe and enjoy your day. Bye guys.